Danny Harf. I've been a pro wakeboarder for nine years and uh, you know not too long ago I had the opportunity to go out and uh, start a new brand and uh, what we did was a couple of us you know we left some other companies and we started a new company that's really focused on just having high-end top-of-the-line product and we use materials from all over the world and I really feel like we are able to have the best product on the market and uh, I'm really proud of what we've been able to do, especially with this board right here. This is uh, my pride and joy. It's my sixth pro model board and it's also, I feel like the best board I've ever made. One of the first things I wanted to do when I came up with this board design was uh, I wanted to have a three-stage board that was really fast. Uh, a lot of times people think that a three-stage board is going to be automatically really slow, but what we did here was we, we really uh, worked to come up with a three-stage rocker line that would still get the pop but still had all the glide speed on the top of the water. Another thing that makes this board really unique is having this variable rail down the side. Basically you have a real round full rail in the center, but that tapers to a harder cupped rail in the tip and tail. You know, for years uh, we rode wakeboards that just had the same kind of edge and no one ever really questioned it or, or tried anything different and if you look at a surfboard you know they have a round edge in the center and a harder edge in the tail um, and I, I tried it and, and what it does is it really gets the center of the board riding higher in the water um, which also I think helps the board become faster but it also just makes the center of the board really forgiving but you still have that aggressive tip and tail to, uh, to edge in. So as you're coming in on a double up or jump in the wake, the first thing that really hits the wake is this real round edge. So it's more forgiving and then you're driving your board up the wake with the harder tip and tail. So as you can see, my board is uh, real flat through the center, which uh, also makes it you know real forgiving in the center of the board. But in the tip and tail, we have these smaller molded in fins that really help the board transition from the round edge to the sharp edge and uh, and then two two one inch fins come standard on this board so there's plenty of grip on the tail um, to counter having that real forgiving center so you know even uh, an average rider can get out there for the first time and and really have a good time and really be able to get this board on edge without much effort be able to get this board driving through the water cutting at the wake and probably going to catch more air than they're used to. Another cool and unique feature about this board is, uh, you know, we're always looking for our boards to be as stiff and strong as possible. So this board's uh, reinforced with a carbon strip uh, that runs through the, the tail center of the board. And uh, it, what it does is it just gives you that extra drive and stiffness in the tail of your board where you're most likely going to be loading off for a big double up landing or, you know, taking off off the wake as you really press on your tail. It gives that board just the extra stiffness to really feel that reaction of the wake as you lift up into the air. This year we went with the elephant print. Uh, it's like a flake ink and it's very subtle, but I think it definitely gives the board a little unique look. In the middle of the board we got this black chrome badge and it's actually a, a two-piece metal riveted Ronix One logo. In addition to the red and black limited setup, we also have an all white version. Um, same shape, similar graphic, but comes in all white. And you can find both of these at your local pro shop, so go check it out. <laughs> 